In the first video of this series, we talked about how the JSON API module takes the decision, the design decision, to use UUIDs only. But how do you get these UUIDs? Because um, if you go over here um, and we go to node 2100, you don't get any place where you can get this UUID, right? So how do you start getting this? Uh, this is uh, a very important part of the JSON API, of working with JSON API. So you don't need to know this. You're going to fetch this. So there is something about the article that you know, and you're going to use collections to get that article. And with collections, you're going to use filters to find it. But first, let's see what a collection is. If you don't provide any UUID, when making your request, and you do it like this, JSON API node article, you're going to get a list of all of the articles that you have in your site with some pagination, right? So you won't get all of them, you will only get a bunch of them. So you can see that I just collapsed the data here. You can see that you can. Uh, fetch the next 50 because by default it's going to give you 50 articles you can fetch 50 just by going to this link so if I click this do send it's going to fetch the next 50 articles for me um, but if we inspect this you will see that data now it's an array because it's returning a list of articles instead of a, just a single article because since we didn't specify any particular article here, it's going to give us a list of all of the articles that it could find. So uh, you can see that there are many, uh, as much as 50. And um, in there, you can see how you get the ID of the resource or the UUID of the Drupal entity. So this is how you will get your UUID using collections. Um, and now you must be wondering, how am I going to find a specific UUID and not just any UUID as, as I did in here? Because uh, this happened to be the entity number uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, inside of a listing of articles and I just got this one and if I copy this and paste it, this is 2132 slash then the UUID. I'm gonna get the same data but for that single article and now see that uh, data is not no longer an array, it's 2132 and uh, you get just that article. But how do we know? Because we are not interested in 2132 but in 21. Zero, zero. So how do we do that? Uh, that's going to be in the next video.